podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel podcast episode 1376, top three per letter. All right, well, hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel netcast. I'm Bill Jill, and today's question sent in by Tyler. Tyler has uh, some data here, lots of different last names, and a rank. And Tyler needs to get the top three A's, the top three B's, the top three C's, the top three D's, and all the way on down through. You know, and I thought, uh, pivot table, uh, here's what I came up with. I'm just going to insert a couple of columns. The first one is called uh, letter equal left, equal left of that, comma one. Left is a great function that gives us just the leftmost one character. That kind of classifies everything, uh, the A's, the B's, the C's, right? And then uh, I am going to sort by letter. Sort by letter on values A to Z. I'm going to add a level and sort by, uh, let's go with rank, smallest to largest, and click OK. Now, what that does is that brings the three largest A's to the top. If I scroll down, then I'll have the three largest B's at the top of that. And to solve this, I'm going to say uh, rank within rank within. All right, this is cool. This is really easy when you get right down to it. Equal if this letter is the same as the previous letter, then I want the value before me plus one. Otherwise, I'm at a brand new letter and I want to start all over again at one. All right, so that little formula, when I shoot that down, double click the fill handle, Sweet, I get one, two, three, and when I scroll down and find the B's down here, uh, it starts with one, two, three as well. So now what I want to do is I want to find all of the one, twos, and threes out there in column F. Really easy way to do that on the data tab. Go to filter, and I'm going to do a number filter less than and say less than four. That'll give me one, twos, and threes. Right, and I now have the three largest A's, the three largest B's, and all the way on down through the list. Um, you'll see that all the other values are still kind of hidden there. I want to check all of that data. So that's start in the top, control shift down arrow, control shift right arrow, control C to copy, control N for a new workbook, control V to paste, and I end up with just the information I was looking for. At this point, I really don't need column A anymore. Really don't need the rank within anymore. Uh, there is my answer. All right, so hey, I want to thank Tyler for sending that question in. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.